Hello there. Welcome to Guernsey in the Channel Islands. What an absolutely beautiful video we've got today. Welcome to Mullin Wet, south coast of Guernsey. I highly, highly recommend you come here if you're on holiday in Guernsey, visiting, or even if you live here. You're going to see today some of the most beautiful views of Guernsey. I'm going to walk you down. Down the hill we go. I'm going to take you along with me. We're going to the Mull and Wet tea rooms, which are just amazing. And I'll show you all around the tea rooms. I'll film inside. I'll show you what's on their board. You can eat. There's all sorts. There's cakes. There's sandwiches. And just breathtaking views. From there, I'll take you down to Mullin Wet Bay and we'll have a quick look round. So, I hope you enjoy the walk along. If you're new here, this channel is all about Guernsey. If you want to see more stuff about Guernsey, you can think about subscribing. And if you love this video, give it a thumbs up as well. Now, I haven't been here for a very, very long time. And I underestimated how steep this hill was walking back up. Um, it was hot. So a little bit of word of warning, if you do visit this place and you're not great at walking, you may have to have a piggyback from someone on the way back up because it's quite steep. Anyway, you can see what it's like. I can take you down so you don't have to move. You can sit back in your chair and enjoy this. Now I see in the distance, you see the turquoise colored sea. Uh, reminds me of the Caribbean, it really did. Truly lucky to live on Guernsey. This is an absolute must if you're visiting Guernsey. Okay, Mullin Wet Bay. Um, it's uh, It'll be on the maps. You can ask your hotel where it is. You can also look on Google Maps. I'm sure it'll help you there. Uh, and there's signposts as well. Look at these houses. Look at this house. What an absolutely fantastic place to live. Imagine waking up to that every morning. I mean, I've got quite a nice view for my house, but nothing like this. At the bottom, you can you got the option of going down to the bay, or before you get there, you've got the tea rooms on the right. So we're going to head down to the tea rooms first of all. Absolutely lovely. Pink house. So we shot this. I was here. It was about 20 past 10 in the morning. And when we got here, actually, we, uh, <laughs> fair enough, we couldn't get into the tea rooms. I could see the tea rooms. There was two gates. And we couldn't get in. And I was like shaking the gate, thinking, what's going on? Because obviously we'd walk down. I was a bit hot. I was a bit harassed. You know what it's like. And I failed to see the sign on the door saying they were closed. <laughs> it was opening at 10.30. And it was about 20 past to 25 past 10. Which was relief because at least they were opening. So as we walked down here, we weren't exactly sure where we were going because as I sort of said, I don't think I've ever been here before or if I did, I was very young. So we were sort of looking around thinking, where are the tea rooms? We knew they were down here somewhere. And I think my wife actually asked someone. I mean, you can't believe I'm local and I had to ask directions probably to a visitor, which was funny enough. So we're looking around here. Uh, so no bikes. Then all of a sudden, things are looking up. I spot Mullin Wet Bay tea room sign near the beach, head down. And look, there's the opening times there. But of course, being a man, I don't read stuff like that. I just didn't see it. So we'll head on down. <laughs> you can see people looking quite tired on the way up. And I kept thinking, I'm going to have to come up in a minute uh, later on. This really is a hidden gem in Guernsey. 
because it's not somewhere you'd maybe find accidentally. You know, it's sort of you, you've got to make an effort to find the place. Um, it's up around the Bellaloose Hotel. It's not far from there. So if you're staying at the Bellaloose Hotel, I'd imagine quite a few people from the hotel walk down here. Just a lovely, relaxing, chilled out walk. There's nothing really more to say about it. Well, I wanted to film this because I thought all my viewers out there, I think they'll love to see this. So the gate up there, I take it that might up go to maybe a house or something up there, I'm not sure. But you really get the sense you're walking down into a stunning valley. Beautiful yachts in the bay there. So I'm walking down and uh, I think this was the tea rooms here. Yeah, so I spot the tea rooms. Okay. I'm thinking, okay, this is the gate. Then I'm sort of getting a bit baffled, thinking, hmm. You know, you, you get a bit of panic set in, and you're thinking, <laughs> how do I get in? And I thought, oh, there's a gate down here. So I'll go and have a look down this bit. But this is all the seating area. Tea rooms are up there. I mean, the location of this place is How'd you get in? perfect. So look here, this gate's locked. So I'm now wondering what's going on here. Then I spot this sign. Look, here's the times. So. 10.30 oh, there you go and it was just coming up to 10.30 so uh, we just sort of stood there for a minute and all of a sudden they, they, I think they saw us they unlocked it and let us in so let's go in let's have a look at this place so I'll be honest this has some of the most stunning views I have seen in Guernsey um, I can't believe I don't come in more often I was just blown away by it. So we will go into the shop in a minute and I'll show you what you can buy. So you've obviously got an indoor area if the weather's not nice. And uh, just give a little look around here. Look at the views out the door. I mean, the shopkeepers are facing that. Not a bad view at work, is it? Stunning. So they offer a selection of sandwiches salads uh, I believe they do lovely homemade cakes as well nice and fresh very nice staff we just got some ice creams because it was very warm and uh, we didn't stay too long because we, it's getting hot with my daughter the temperature was racking up quite a bit but they've got all these little bits in here just a lovely little place hidden on the cliffs can't beat these places hot drinks cold drinks Fresh crab. Thank you. Oh, I'd have had that if I'd have thought about it. Right, we're going to head out. I'm showing you down to the bay now. So this is Mullin Wet Bay. And I think there is access another way as well. We went from the car park way. But I think you can get down it uh, another way. Although I haven't done it. I just want to show you an idea of what the bay looks like there's a the step so I've got to walk back up not looking forward to that at all but uh, I think it was worth it actually this is absolutely the best of Guernsey I'd say the cliffs So I don't know if you can see, but there's people swimming. We've got the beautiful yachts in the bay there. I mean, it's just one of those places that you'll really miss out on if you don't manage to get here. Obviously, the weather makes it as well. If you've got nice weather, it makes a big difference.
absolutely beautiful thanks for watching click the screen to watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more stuff on guernsey until the next time take care